Hey guys, so we're gonna learn a song by ear today. We're going to learn, da -da -da -da, we're gonna learn uh, Hallelujah from Shrek. <clears throat> and I know that it's not from Shrek, but many people out there know it as the song from Shrek. So <clears throat> it's very simple. This is just my version. Um, I've never seen any music for this. I'm sure that it exists, I'm sure that it's a popular thing, but I've just, this is just kind of a version that I made up and I find that it's just kind of an easy way to play it on the instrument. So if you're a beginner, this would be a good one for you to learn by ear. If you're just trying to uh, learn a song by ear on the violin or the viola, then this is a good one because the hand patterns that I'm using are very simple. So, um, and another thing you could try once you kind of get familiar with this is try starting this song on a different note if you are trying to play things by ear. So, um, but anyway, let me play it for you. This is an abridged version. <laughs> and uh, the rhythms that I use are just kind of things that I come up with. I can't really exactly remember the words for this song. So maybe some of my rhythms won't be actually right, but you can kind of do what you want with it. So here we go. Let me just play it for you. I'm going to play it a little bit slower so that you can see, and then we're going to go through it together. Okay? So let me just get kind of close so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm starting on the viola. I'm starting on the G string on an A. If you're on the violin, you could start on an E, which is your first finger on the D string, and our fingering will be exactly the same, but you'll just be a fifth lower. Okay? So here we go. just like the building blocks for this song. Feel free to do other things if you want. Um, but basically, we're going to start as, again on first finger on your third string. So if you're on the viola, this is the G string. On the violin, it's your D string. So <clears throat> the melody goes up and it goes back down. Let's just listen. <laughs> that sequence four times. All right, now the intervals that you're hearing is a minor third up, minor third is a whole step plus a half step, da, da, minor third down, da, da, and then a major third down from your starting note. So we go up, down, a major third. So if you just want to hear these intervals, a minor third sounds like Iron Man. And then a minor third down sounds like Hey Jude. You hear it? And then a major third down. I just use a are you sleeping? Are you sleeping? Sleeping. That's a major third. So if you put all these intervals together, you get. Okay, so that's the intro. Now the second part. Um, is kind of a variation on this. So we're going to do the easy version. You could either use your fourth finger and keep it all in one string, or you can just go over to the upper string 
if you want. So here we go. Okay, so all we're doing is we're going up a major second. The major second sounds like do, re, mi. And it's hard to hear that because there's a lot of rhythms on the same pitch. But the interval that we're moving is the major second. Do, re, mi, do, re. Okay, so this is the first. The second variation of this, it starts on your first finger, da da, and then it has the exact same material. Okay, so we have a minor third going up. A minor third sounds like Iron Man, right? And over a major second. Now the third variation of this, it's the same but a little bit more involved. So we have the notes are so we're going up a major second back down and then back down again a major second so you can hear three blind mice those are the um, intervals it's all major seconds one major second up and then two down and back up again okay so so far we have They're the same notes, okay? Now the, um, I guess the part I really like is here. So we're gonna go back to third finger, just like we were on for those variations, those three variations, and we're gonna just do a scale up, okay? And the scale has a low two in the hand pattern, okay? So. <laughs> Okay, so we start on third finger, third finger on your third string, like we have been starting. So we just have a bunch of whole steps. Sounds like do, re, mi. We just have rhythms in between. Then we have a minor second, a half step. Major second up from that. So they're just all a bunch of whole steps up and then a couple down. Okay, so. And then this beautiful part, we're going to go to first finger on your third string. We're going to go up a minor third and a major second and then down and then up and then down. Did you hear the half step? So one and two together there. And then we just have whole steps down. Whole steps. You hear three blind mice? Jaws. Three blind mice. So the whole thing from the beginning.
<laughs> so um, a lot of songs out there mostly do move stepwise. There's not a lot of big interval leaps in songs. So if you do want to learn a song, <laughs> my advice is to get it stuck in your head and then interval by interval, so two notes at a time, you're going to hear each interval and then start on maybe the easiest note that you possibly can. So a lot of times it's an open string on a string instrument. So for example, uh, <clears throat> although in this one we start on the first finger, <laughs> but that's because, well anyway, um, maybe that doesn't really apply. So my advice is to get the song stuck in your head, figure out the intervals, and then if you're familiar with hand patterns, which you should be if you're a student of mine, then um, it's kind of easy to put the intervals together. So for example, one little thought, which uh, this happens a lot in this piece, is you're playing minor thirds a lot. And a minor third is really simple on the violin or the viola. The easiest way really to play a minor third is your first finger to your third finger. And will always, always be a minor third in this hand pattern because you have a whole step and then a half step. So the distance from first finger to third finger is a minor third. Um, a major second is very simple to play. It's just two consecutive fingers, first finger, second finger, but there's a space in between them. Always sounds like do, re going up or three blind mics on the way down. And then we have jaws. That's also very easy to play. It's two consecutive fingers, but they're together. Okay? So have fun. <laughs> Try playing this on a different starting note if you uh, want to challenge yourself. And if you have any song requests, uh, I will get to them <laughs> eventually, and uh, let me know if you have any questions. I'll see you guys soon.